Hey guys, Brick Queen here with another Lego minifigure comparison for you guys. This one is Fenrir Greyback, who's actually kind of an interesting character if you uh, look at his backstory. Um, so Fenrir Greyback, obviously, this is one of Voldemort's followers. Um, not a very nice guy, uh, but this is the two different versions that Lego has made. Now this one over here, this one has dark brown hair. This one came out originally in 2010 in the first Burrow set, uh, but it was also released again in 2011 in the Diagon Alley set. Um, this one right here was. And this one is from 2020, the new Burrow set. So this is essentially your difference over 10 years. Now you can see the leg printing, you know, now we have leg printing. We didn't in the past. That is an improvement. However, just the printing on the rest of it, I kind of like the original better. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to put up a couple of pictures here so you can see. Um, it really depends on, you know, what uh, picture of Fenrir you're looking at as to which one you know, the hair color seems more accurate for. Uh, because in some shots, it really looks like he has black hair. and some shots, it looks like dark brown. However, what I'm going to say is that honestly, neither one is accurate because the hair is not long enough. Fenrir Greyback had longer hair. Um, it kind of, it actually went down past his shoulders. Um, He's a werewolf. Um, no, not all the time. It's it's very similar to Remus Lupin. And why is that? Well, Fenrir Greyback is actually the one that turned Lupin into a werewolf. And so, I don't know, I, I guess Fenrir Greyback has a little bit of pedo tendencies for the fact that he prefers to attack children, which is strange, but he does. And apparently, the the story goes that um, Remus Lupin's father insulted werewolves. And so, uh, basically, Fenrir um, bit Remus Lupin when he was only four years old. And that's how he became a werewolf and has had to deal with that, uh, his, you know, furry problem, as he calls it. <laughs> He's had to deal with that his whole life. But this guy is the reason for it. And he's, you know, just generally a very vicious, evil guy that follows Voldemort. Um, so you check out the printing between the two. Um, now the, the skin color on the torso is really not quite accurate on either one, honestly. This one's way too yellow and this one's still a bit too light, um, a, a little bit too white, really. Um, so <laughs> I'd say that the newer one got the skin color closer, but not, not quite right. It's, but it's a lot better, um, than the skin color on this one. It doesn't match at all. Uh, but as far as the hair color and just, I mean, look at the printing on the face. It seems to me that the old one actually has better detailing than the new one. Even looking down at, like, the torso around, like, the belt and the shirt, the original over here seems to have better detailing to me. Now, I do like that the new one has um, the details that go down onto the pants. That is nice. But does it make up for the rest? Not in my opinion. Now, if we take these hair pieces off, they do both have a second face. So let me turn that around to show you guys the back. The old one didn't have back printing. Um, and the new one just has, you know, basically like these three little strokes there. So nothing major for back printing. Uh, but you can see the second face is there. I don't know. It just seems like there's more detailing in the 2010 version than the 2020 version which is odd. I did not expect that. I thought that they would improve it more, but in my honest opinion, I think the old one's better. 
Now, feel free to disagree. You can tell me in the comments what you think. And, uh, just in general, what you think about, uh, Fenrir Greyback. Probably not your favorite character, but maybe your favorite villain. Who knows? Um... I don't know, Bellatrix is, is a really pretty great villain um, in the Harry Potter world, in my opinion. But who knows, who knows? I just thought I would show you guys the difference in these two. Because at the moment, these are the only two versions of Fenrir. Like I said, this one came out in two sets. And so far, this one is only in one set right now, just the new burrow. But we'll see, that could change. They might add them to other sets. Uh, but anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, if you have any other video requests, be it reviews, comparisons, ideas, sets, whatever you want to see, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.